G'day. Do you remember Mumbo Jumbo's 10 minute, 1 minute, 10 second videos? I do. And I've always wanted to make one. So in this video, I'm going to be making a zoo in 10 seconds, 1 minute, and then 10 minutes. Let's see how it goes. Okay, for the first 10 seconds, I'm going to be making a koala enclosure. So I've got the stopwatch ready and I'm going to go now. Okay, I'm going to make it uh, 4 by 4 Um... Oh dear, no, I don't have time for that. Oh gosh. Oh, that went terrible. Okay, so this is what I envisioned I could make. I don't know why I thought I could place these um, these fences so quickly. Their hitbox is so small. Um, but this is what I made. Uh, it's not that very good. Let's move on to one minute. Okay, for the one minute build, I'm going to build a polar bear enclosure. I've got a spruce sapling, got some snow, some ice some glass so I can look in at the polar bear so yeah I'm gonna start right now probably shouldn't have started so high in the air um okay this is gonna be where the water goes now I need some ice oh gosh I didn't mean to place the ice there that's fine oh wait no ice is fine there actually I'm spending way too long in this oh I've still got I've still got another 30 seconds. I can extend this, I think. Okay, so I've made the outer wall. Now I just need to make the exhibit glass. Okay, I've got 20 seconds left about. So I'm going to put a bit more ice here. That's ugly, so I don't like that. Um, oh gosh, I don't have enough time. Please snow. I forgot bone meal. Okay. All right, so that's the polar bear enclosure. Um, it's not a very good, it's quite cruel. He's quite big and he could probably just climb over these walls pretty easily. But yeah, not very good. It's definitely better than that thing. I don't think I should have tried to extend the enclosure because then I didn't have enough time to place the snow. Also, I probably should have used snow layers as well rather than snow blocks. Oh well, next build. Okay, I'm going to start the 10 minute build now and I've decided to choose the giant anteater for this one. So it's going to be a pretty jungly enclosure. Um, I, I forgot to grab some blocks for the viewing area so I'm just going to grab that now. Okay, I now believe I have all the blocks for the giant anteater so I'm going to start now. Okay, um, I need to figure out how big this enclosure need, is going to be. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll just make some walls that go quite a distance around. I've got to remember, I've literally got 10 minutes to do this. So I can be generous to myself. Um, this is looking quite big. <laughs> Maybe it's too big. Um, okay, I'm going to try this. Okay, I think I'm just going to build the wall up two layers. Uh, if I get extra time, I'll, I'll build another layer, but right now two layers is fine. It shouldn't be able to escape from that Next I'm gonna build the viewing area, which is gonna be out of spruce and it's also gonna have these um, steel fences Ooh. Okay, I'm two minutes in now and I just need to get this uh, viewing area done as soon as possible. Okay, the platform is done. Uh, I'm going to do this part now. Two and a half minutes in. <laughs> Time is going by so fast. Um, maybe I made this viewing area too big because this is going to take way too long. Maybe I should stop and come back to this. Never mind, I'm committing.
Okay, so when I like to build enclosures, I like to make uh, a path going around what I'm doing. Oh, I just hit five minutes. Um, uh, a little path so it shows where the anteaters have tread on the ground a lot. So it's uh, natural. It's their normal walking path. And uh, when I've worked at sanctuaries and stuff in real life, they like to tread along the fences a lot. But I don't think I have enough time to do this because I'm at 5 minutes 30 now and I still don't have any foliage in. But I'm going to try and do just a bit more pathing. Honestly, I should have given myself world edit tools for this because this is taking way too long. Okay, six minutes in, I gotta start on the foliage now. So I've already selected some pretty big bushes, which I guess could go around the corners here. Um, and could go here. So this is the large boxwood and the large tropical bush. Okay, it's not a not a particular type of bush, but it's a it's a big tropical bush. Um, oh, I really want elevation in here. I'm making really bad decisions and I'm six and a half minutes in. Okay, I just want a bit of elevation to make it look a bit better. I still got to make trees. I was planning on making custom trees, but I don't know if I'll have time for that because I'm seven minutes in. And yeah, this is looking pretty bland right now. I'm going to put some... Oh, what are these? Tall... Uh, Drenkenia. Oh, I don't even know. I'm so dyslexic. I'm so dyslexic. Okay, that's enough of that. I need to start building these trees. So, okay, that's nice. And I was gonna do jungle. Oh, jungle leaves with these trees. And birch leaves on this tree. I haven't even given it any branches. I need to give it some more branches without it looking so ugly. I'm now less than two minutes away from the finish line. And oh, I need to use world well edit. Pause one B. Okay, I've copied it. Now I can such rotate it. 90 and slash just paste oh gosh i've only got a minute left <laughs> um okay yeah that's that's good if i just paste a few more a few more of these around minus a there we go uh bloop and one over here maybe i'll rotate it again there we go okay this is looking a lot better um i also wanted to do a termite mound because this is an anteater and they eat ants, of course, and termites. Oh gosh, I've got less than a minute left. Okay. I feel like I'm pretty shaky. I don't know if this will uh, pick up on video, but yeah, I'm shaking a lot. This is really intense. And water. Oh gosh, I've got 20 seconds left and bone meal. Oh gosh. Okay, I don't have time for water. I'm just doing bone meal. Oh. Five seconds left. Okay. Wow. That's pretty good, I think. <laughs> okay. I don't think I should have built it this big. And I definitely spent way too long on the roof here and the viewing area. But it gives the people who are visiting the zoo... Uh, a good range of where they can look around and see the anteater enclosure. I'm gonna put uh, about four anteaters in here, I think. There we go. They're all pretty happy. It's amazing how fast 10 minutes goes. 
like I did I was hoping to build more variations of this tree but it just got to the point where I had to paste these ones around and just rotate them I, th I think they're still nice um, I think if I didn't rotate them they would have looked all weird but this is good I also realized I didn't place this fence over here so it looks a bit weird but yeah that's 10 seconds one minute and 10 minutes oh gosh <laughs> need to fix that I hope you like this video any type of feedback is welcome and also any type of support. So yeah, hope you have a good day. See ya. Take care. Bye-bye.